Hello out there. We are Blue Collar Bobbers and we make bolt-on bobber kits and this is going to be a quick uh, preview of one of our newest additions. This is the uh, Honda VT1100 Sabre. Uh, it's pronounced Sabre. I'm almost positive. Maybe Sabre, but I'm pretty sure it's Sabre. Let's take a look. And there you have it. Uh, our kits will fit any year uh, VT1100 Sabre. I'm just going to do a quick uh, walk around here. If you'll notice, we have our uh, bobber fender on the back. And then we have the bobber seat. We have a lot of uh, colors to choose from in the seats. The fenders come in black, primed, and bare aluminum. On this bike, basically, I just uh, stayed with the stock bike. We just kind of painted the tank a little different color. So but we did add the white walls. Uh, if you look on our website, too, we have, uh, we will, will have, not yet, but we will have the, this bike uh, with different color wheels and paint jobs, so you can check them out. This is just the only one we have right now, but we'll have more later. And we added our front fender. So basically what our barber kits do is they kind of just slenderize the bike and make it old school, very clean looking. This one has the drag bar. If you go on our website, you can check out all the details. Let me show you how the seat works on this. Before I take this seat off, I just want to mention that all of our seats are made out of real thick leather. They're not vinyl, they're actually uh, uh, real thick shap leather. So, and we have a lot of colors to choose from. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you how this comes off. What we do is we just take this screw out and this one out, and then the whole seat, pan, and springs and everything lift off. And that way you can get to your air cleaner and your wiring and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. This is a quick shot of our rear light kit and license plate bracket. We have these in either vertical or horizontal, so depending on the state that you live in, most of the states uh, allow the vertical, but we do have the horizontal that goes this way, like a car, and that also tucks in very nicely there. It doesn't stick out at all, so. Okay, and then you'll notice we have the uh, real nice quality signal lights that act as running lights and signals. And then the brake light is awesome. It's super bright. Let me uh, pull the brake lever for you. Oh, and it also lights the license plate down below. It's super bright. Left signal, right signal. We believe in nice quality lights that are safe. If you'll notice, these are black nickel signal lights. They're super nice quality. And then this is a 1929 uh, Model A Ford truck light. We like the black better than the chrome, so we just kind of feature that one. That's, like I say, they look very vintage, and then they're LED, so they're super, super quality. We love the big old headlight on this Sabre, too. It's just really old school. And then you'll notice we run the same black nickel signal lights up front with just amber lenses. They're running and signals. Amber in the front, red in the back. Here's another look at the front of the bike. I just love these uh, big disc wheels on this bike. And they're begging to be painted to, uh, they're, because they're not chrome, you can actually just wet paint the wheels. And if you look on our website, we'll have different colors uh, that you can see and get some ideas. Our seats are also extremely comfortable. We also sell the exhaust wrap in different colors. We have the white, tan, and black. And then you can also paint the wrap too before you put it on. That makes it kind of fun. We don't sell exhaust, but we do sell the exhaust wrap. We also offer a special drag bar for this bike. It's actually a little wider than we wanted to make it, but it has to be wide enough for the switch housing to clear the, clear the tank when you turn all the way. But you know, it came out really nice because this has such a big old school look to it that that wide band handlebar kind of fits the design. They're, bobbers aren't bobbers without drag bars or ape hangers. Well, they also show our low profile mirrors. We love the uh, side mount license plates on these bikes. It just keeps that fender really clean and uh, uncluttered. And that's the idea of a bobber, just a very, very minimal look to it. This thing's sharp. It's 
Sorry for the shaky camera. I just used an old fit cam or flip camera because I'm an old fart and I don't know how to use the new stuff. Oh, and one uh, uh, question that we get asked all the time about our kits are um, if you have to cut anything off the bike. On the 1100s, all three, uh, three or four that we make, we'll be making the Ace later, but on all of them, you don't have to do any cutting at all. Basically, you just remove uh, all the stuck stuff and bolt our stuff on. So that's a real plus. There's no cutting, no welding, no drilling, no nothing. Everything just kind of bolts right up. Awesome. Okay, there you have it. Uh, just pull us up on the web at just uh, Google Blue Collar Bobbers and we will pop right up and you can check all the other bikes that we do too. We do a whole bunch of them. And we will be doing the uh, other VT1100s, the uh, Spirit and the Arrow. So stay tuned for those shortly. Have a good one.